Hey guys, I'm re-recording this because foolishly I forgot to turn on my mic. So this will take about 15 minutes. I'm taking footage from our Sunday game because the Saturday game, uh, the camera, the nice camera is not working for whatever reason. But anyway, here are the three things I want to cover. Uh, let's start with this no fishing. And what that means is when your opponent has the puck, you don't just go straight at the puck, watch a puck, and try to swipe it. You gotta, just like with angling, you gotta tie up their stick. Get stick on stick, then, then get their body out of the way, and then worry about the puck last. So let's just go ahead and start with this first clip here. As you'll see, Jay. You'll see Jasper just easily kind of dangle around him because we're watching the puck, and you'll see Xander swinging in this. Okay. I guarantee you, you tie up their stick. They're not going to be able to stick him all around you. All right, it's that simple. Here we'll see uh, Maddie with the puck, and Wyatt will go right after it, and this. And she just skates up. On an extra note, uh, if you miss the puck, have a little defensive pride. When I, Well, I should say when somebody gets around you, have defensive pride and flag them down. Go right after them. It's not, ah, they've got me, I give up. You go back there and take your puck back. So here you'll see Maddie again, and Carter does take the puck, but it's important to practice good habits. Just because just because you got the puck doesn't mean that was the best way to take it. All right, you're staring fully at the puck. Person with better angles, they will get around you. Here we'll see Xander. He actually takes a very good angle, but you see someone's good at stick handling, and you swipe the miss, and Maddie made a pretty sick goal right there. Uh, it's a nice angling trying to keep up with her, but that one little swipe, right, if you tie up her stick, it's going to make it that much harder for her. And last example here, you'll see Trap Shoe versus Isaac. And he takes a good angling route. This is very good. But the old swing and miss. And if you miss them, they're that much farther ahead of you. Remember that drill we did where we... Uh, you know, we have our sticks upside down or sometimes no stick at all. That's the key. You just follow their body. All right, once you separate that puck from their body and their stick, they can't do anything with it anymore. Then you get it after. All right, this next section is also pretty short. Um, we're going to headman the puck. So what that means is if you see somebody in front of you with speed, like your own teammate, and his open with space, you should be passing it. Nobody moves faster than a moving puck, or nobody skates faster than a moving puck. That's what headman means. So I'll show you examples of that. All right, so let's start with Patrick right here. I'll talk about this middle pass right after this, or right after this section. But right here, as soon as you guys touch the puck, you gotta get your head up and see, hey, do I have a pass? It's not, okay, I have the puck, skate, 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 stick handle, stick handle, and then, okay, now do I have a pass? No. When you get the puck, you look up right away and see if you have a pass. And bonus points, you should be looking up before you even get the puck. So you know what to do before you get the puck. That's even better if you can, if you get, some of you are capable of that. So you'll see here, Nolan, a right, good position. Well, he starts getting into a good position. So that's a perfect route. He goes from here, and instead of just going in a straight line that would take him out of a passing lane, he goes diagonally across. That diagonal across, although it's subtle, that'll be very helpful in the future. That's how you want to uh, receive the puck, and then he'll be in front of her. Right. With that said, though, yeah, Patrick, you're looking down, and then, I mean, it's very common with everyone, really. They look down, and they want to skate with the puck first. Now, same thing here. Let's see Patrick pick up the puck, and boom, he's got to pass to Wyatt right away. Now, there's an extra problem with this, and as the receiver... You guys got to get that pass. You guys got to give him a target. If you're sitting like this, where is he supposed to pass to? Your feet? Um, your blade that's pointed like like this, so he only has the tip of the blade. Uh, especially, I talked about this, you guys want to get that puck out in front of you. So in this case, you got to receive that backhand. Give him that target. Same with you, Carter. You can give him a target right there. If you guys don't give him a target, then it's harder, for, that much harder for him to pass it. Okay, but again... It looks like you're not even looking for the pass, so please do so. And guys, come on, we gotta stay onside. That was offside. All right, you see, traps you get the puck right here behind the net, right there. And so this is where you gotta buy a little bit of time. I see in this case, if you don't have a pass, 
then you should skate. But if you can just delay a little bit, no one's going into a good position. Do that diagonal route toward the board. And unfortunately, we coughed it. But that's where, if you can recognize right here, just stall a little bit, give no one time, and then you can give them an easy pass. Now, one thing I do want to mention too is when I say headman the puck, that means you want to headman, you want to throw the puck to somebody in front of you. Um, if there's a chance, I shouldn't say a chance. If you, if like here, you're gonna see John with the puck and he passes to Wyatt, but. John's more likely to skate it up and get to the blue line before Wyatt can because Wyatt's momentum is still going this way. In that case, then you don't really have to headman. It's really about who's going to get further down the ice first. All right, so that doesn't really help us a whole lot. And then so Wyatt, you have your head down and you just kind of skate it up, right? right? And same thing here. You'll see Wyatt skating with the puck. Probably should throw it to Jay. Uh, again, problem with the receiver too. You got to you gotta put your uh, blade down and here you can slow up to stay in a passing lane by skating hard you're taking yourself out of a passing lane because she's in your way right, so let me just play it so you can see what I'm talking about oh, there it goes All right, and you still have a bank pass to the board and again stay on side please and lastly let's end this on a good example no one gets that puck in the corner. Julia got to go to a board. Um, but you see traps you take off. And it's a nice try. It's a nice try. Um, the one thing I want to say about this. Uh, no one said the blade was open. You could see it. But and it's always hard to tell on this uh, camera angle. But to me it looks like it's kind of hard to hit that blade. I'm not really sure. Um, but to make things easier, uh, traps you. What you can do is you skate just a, one stride this way and then back that way, so your blade is nice and open for him to see. Right. So just something to keep in mind. Don't forget to put your stick down, guys. All right. I just, again, I just want to emphasize: when you get the puck, you look for somebody to pass it. If there's no one to pass it to, then you skate. All right. It's not skate first. And then pass if you run out of, uh, you know, if you don't know what else to do with it, it's pass first. All right, the last thing, this is kind of important. Stop this middle pass, please. Um, in our defensive zone, especially in this area, we do not want to pass it in this whole area. Um, if there's somebody standing over here and he's calling for it, is banging his stick and is wide open, I don't care. Don't pass it to him. Do not pass in this area. Um, do not pass it through here either. Let's say it's here. Don't pass it to him. I don't care if it's open. Don't pass it to the middle. We're gonna, this is lava, guys. Let's not ever pass it through here. Um, because we keep making that mistake. Um, up here is still kind of dangerous. If you were to, I don't, like, up here, uh, hold on. Sorry, let me read all that. So like if you're here and you throw it, you, this is a little bit safer. At least it's higher in the zone. Just make sure you're passing to somebody. Later on, we're going to have to do what's called a center swing, where that's actually the best way to get it out. Um, but we don't want to just blindly pass it, and especially to the other team, because that can also give them a great a scoring chance. And really, that's anywhere in this zone. Here, let's say we're going this way. If you just blindly pass it up the middle and someone picks that off, um, it's no bueno. Uh, it is safer, though, okay? I'm not saying to never pass here, but you got to have your head up. You can't just do it blindly. So this first one, I showed it a little bit earlier, but do it right th through the middle. That scared me a bit. Right? It worked, but if that's picked off, we're done. Um, let's use these boards. That's going to be super effective. Use that board. Even if you cough it, it's not that dangerous. We're going to use these boards a lot. And the boards are going to be your friend. This one isn't too bad. It scared me a little bit. But right here, you'll see traps you get the puck. Right. And this is why we need a D to D support thing. Where if Patrick was back here, I feel much better. Right. Then it's wide open. By passing this way, if that got picked off, that not might be uh, work out uh, too well. Um, the uh, the next best thing really, or the or the best thing traps you could have done was just take the puck, skate it back here, right, and then just throw it around the board. That would have probably been the best way. Alright, so our face-off alignment, very good. Um, 
just real quick, make sure you guys watch that face-off video on your responsibilities. Right? John, I know you're playing D, but your your role, you don't want to just jump up right away. We need you to kind of come back. Right. But um, here, I just want to show uh, Xander. You got kind of a habit of doing this. You look up. I have nobody. All right, let me throw it in the middle. That's the big danger right there. Um, really, you could just, if you don't know what to do with it, then just rim it around the board. Um, really, the best option here was to take the puck. Oh, hold on, wrong marker. Take the puck, skate it to the quiet zone. That was the best option. Get the puck, use this net as a shield, go to the quiet zone. If you're going to throw it out anywhere, don't panic and throw it up the middle. I don't care if somebody's open, don't throw it there either. Just use the board. Maybe you can even throw it that way. And as you'll see here, that's exactly what he does after. All right, so you pick up the puck. Look, look at the, how easy it is to break out. This is what I want to see right here. Get the puck, rim it on the board, boom. And then Jay, you could just pick it on the board again. Uh, you don't want to do this blind middle pass. Right, that scares me. If we have someone skating up, then it's okay. Um, like I said, in the future, we're going to have someone a center swing up and take that pass right there. But you got to look for them. So you retrieve the puck. Best option, take it behind the net. Um... If you can skate this way in front of that and you know you already have an option, that's okay too. But I prefer you just skate behind the net. And this is probably the worst. Right to the other team, right up the middle. Now this one's a little more tricky. I know you want to push forward. But if you're going to push forward, then go toward the board and then just bank it out if you're not sure what to do. Use these boards. It's much safer, guys. Don't want to do this. Right, up the middle, boom to the other team, to Jasper. Right, really the best option is to get the puck, go behind the net. <laughs> I know this isn't a D to D video, but I did want to show this. Manny gets the puck. We don't if we don't want the last person with the puck, uh, whoever has the puck should not be the last person back. If this happens, someone needs to stagger. Defense is stagger. That traps you, get behind him. Just in case he coughs it up, or just in case he falls over, get behind him. And really, once Manny gets it, that's going to be probably an automatic easy pass. So you stop and you're to the side of him, what if you picked it off? All right. That's why you want to stagger behind. Uh, Nolan, so this kind of surprised me that you did this. When you retrieve the puck, you should have just took it back. Just take it back, and in this case, <laughs> you did have trap shoes for your D2D uh, support. Um, again, let's not pass it blindly to the middle. Right, that is no bueno. Alright, let's see a bit of a double whammy on Wyatt's part. Right, puck goes to you. Boom, let's just throw it out. How about we use the board? Another option, you can go behind your net. Right, and second one. Right to you then. If you're going to panic, let's just rim it on the board. They pick it up on the board, it's going to be hard to score right away. Use that board, guys. Now you see, you'll see trap shoot. Take the puck in the corner here. Um, so this is a good case. And the one's open, like I talked about the head manning. Julia's sort of open, but I prefer she goes toward the board. You do not want to pass to these three. They're in the middle of the ice. So I prefer either give it to Julia or just skate it up. Um, if you are going to pass it, it, please zip that. All right? that. You baby that, and no one just got out of trouble. But let's zip those passes. All right, again, let's focus on our D2D stagger. Last guy with the puck. What if he gets picked off? Xander, that's you. you got to get behind him. Oops. All right, and also, uh, if it's like two feet away, if it's holding your hand, then don't pass it to him. Uh, I would just roll back to the side here. All right, and then Jay, once again, let's not pass to the middle, please. At least to nobody. All right, now I'm beating this dead horse. Xander, you get the puck. And even though Rain's kind of open, first of all, you had an easy pass right here on the board. That's option number one, really. Um, but you decided to turn to the middle and throw it up the middle. We wanted to avoid this middle area. All right, here you'll see an empty net. We got, uh, or, okay, it's a delayed penalty, so it's not as uh, consequential. 
no one gets this puck in the corner. Now, one thing I want to emphasize, uh, I see Jay do this a lot. I see really almost all of you do it. When you guys get the puck, look, the, the pressure's coming from here. So when you guys turn around and you put the puck in front of you, you're putting it right in front of the defender. Um, you want to keep your back to them. So to do that, I prefer you guys get the puck and then just go back this way behind the net. Keep your back to them. You can skate up this way too. But don't stop and then put the puck in front of you right where the opponent is. I see you guys do that a lot. Um, so real quick, Julia, go to the board please. That will make it easier for him. And if you look at this here, nobody's really in a good receiving position. Middle of the net, middle of the net, middle, not on the board. And so if you see that, you can either... You can do what I call a lead pass, where you can have to like bank it slowly so they start going there. It could be on this way too, where you don't rim it super hard, but you just rim it so that your player kind of it, it guides them. So it takes a little bit of skill. You got to put just the right amount of zip on it. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you get the puck on, just skate it behind the net. <laughs> okay, the when you when you're in these corners, your time goes lower and lower because somebody's going to be forechecking you. You give yourself a lot. To, a lot of time once you go behind the net and you threw it right to the middle of the other team even though someone's sort of open but this is why i don't want you guys to run up the middle now luckily it doesn't matter because again it's a delayed penalty all right so sorry i have video went a little bit longer than i wanted to but let's focus on these three things on this video no fishing when we play d let's really focus on that stick on stick part uh number two head man the puck please and this is a passing game. And lastly, let's stop putting in the middle. Let's stop passing up the middle. This is probably the most important thing in this video. All right, guys. I know it's a lot, but um, let's get better. Let's get better. We can uh, we can beat the other team. All right. See you in the next video.